Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that this video is actually going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine as you can see. Kisumu is also fantastic. And maybe you could also let me know where you are watching the video from. The county or the country in case you are out of the republic. Ladies and gentlemen, William Samoya Raputo, the president of the Republic of Kenya, will tomorrow attend a church service in Kawa West. And by the way, is Kawa West in Kiabu County or is it in Nairobi? I think it's in Nairobi County, but predominantly the Kikuyu Nation. So William Ruto will be in Kawa West tomorrow for some church service. And one of the top Kikuyu musicians, Muigai Wajoroge, shared a banner of that event on his Facebook page. Mina, let me tell you, William Ruto is being shredded, is being attacked on that page ruthlessly. And I'm asking myself, why are Kikuyu so bitter and angry with William Ruto? Let me just pick my phone and share with you what Mugai Wajoroge posted because it's going to form the basis of this analysis why the Kikuyu nation are angry and bitter with William Ruto. This is what Mugai Wajoroge posted. Karibu sana kiongozi. I'm not good at that. And by the time of doing this video, that post has already been shared 21 times. The comments are outrageous. 2,800 comments. The, the, the likes on that post are already 4,800 plus. So normally that's huge interaction. And if you open the comment section there, you will be shocked by what these people are telling William Ruto. I used to respect JJ. JJ is the host. So I want to ask you guys because I can't go through all the comments. I just want to challenge you. Maybe after watching this video, go to Joroge, Muigaiwa Joroge page. It's verified. It's actually a verified page. Go to that page. You'll find that banner. Read the comments there. Let me now go to Bishop Dr. JJ Gitahi because he's the main guy. Because in this video, I want to really understand why the Kikuyu nation are better with William Ruto, especially ahead of this particular trip. Let us get uh, Bishop JJ's Gitahi's page. Of course, I've already found it here. It's already here. Now, he has actually shared it on his Facebook page. You can see it here. Then, uh, he has a history. He has shared a history here. Why William Ruto is going there? Because I've read the comments. People are also in agreement with him that that's the only promise William Ruto has kept to the people of the mountain. This is what the guy, the guy posted, just briefly. On 24th November 2019, the distinguished deputy president, now the esteemed president of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency, President William Samoy Araproto, graced us with his presence at the Priesthood Fellowship Church, Kawa West, for a momentous fellowship. So it means William Ruto was here. That's two years ago. <clears throat> Beyond the exchange of spiritual insights, President Ruto shared with us a profound commitment promising to return when he assumes the presidency. This pledge, reminiscent of Jacob's vow in Genesis 28-20, has come to fruition as our president has indeed kept his word. So which means in 2019, that's actually three years from now, was it three or four years? William Trump made a promise to them that he was going to return. So William Trump has kept that promise. And he's saying, in line with this auspicious occasion, I am honored to extend a warm invitation to you and your congregation to join me this Sunday, 26th November, as we joyfully welcome back His Excellency, President Dr. William Samuel Arapruto, to Priesthood Fellowship Church, Kawa West. Your presence would greatly enrich this moment of celebration, marking the fulfillment of a promise made and kept. 
So the guy has consistently maintained that this is a promise that was made and it has been <coughs> kept. We anticipate a blessed gathering filled with gratitude and reverence. You are sincerely, you are sincerely, with sincere respect, Bishop Dr. J.J. Gitai, General Overseer, Priesthood Fellowship Churches. And he has actually shared several photos, including the time when William Ruto visited that church in 2019. And of course, if you go to the comments in that post again, in fact, the first one, let me just read for you the first comment there. It's unfortunate the church continues to be used to hoodwink Wanainchi by giving lies and thieves access to the pulpit. The 2022 general election proved we have lost the way as a country. The church that used to stand for truth, justice, and good governance is no longer, it's long gone. The brown envelope is king these days. Now, if you look at the comments there, you will be shocked. Someone is also saying on that particular page alone that that's good, but let him be told the truth, Mambo C. Missouri. Things are going out of hands. But let us focus on the post by Muigai Wajoroge, because this is one man who really campaigned for William Ruto. The Kikuyu Nation listened to him, he even composed anti dynasty songs. He's still supporting William Ruto. And why would he support us? decide to attack William Ruto on his page the way they have done. But before we get into all those, in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is and that's why i normally encourage you guys to ensure you subscribe because what i explain on this channel you can't get any other place so just press that thumbs i mean that subscribe button now and of course i'm making this request for this video just ensure you drop thumbs up and and without any further ado ladies and gentlemen let us dive in but before we dive in allow me to thank the following people you are seeing their names on the screen there for the coffee which they sent to me earlier I'm so grateful and may God bless you. It goes a long way in supporting the channel. As a matter of fact, it's actually raining and that's why I have a cup of coffee just with me right now here. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, why do you think the mountain is angry with William Ruto? Based on the comments there, it is clear if elections were to be held today, most of those people would not vote for Ruto. Some of them are actually regretting why they voted for Ruto. So the question is simple. Why is the mountain better with Ruto? For me, number one, based on what I'm reading on the comments there, is that William Ruto actually used the platform of the church to persuade the mountain to vote for him. And instead of delivering, they're seeing a return of the church and Ruto again. William Ruto used the church strategically to win the support of the Kikuyu nation. He engaged in early campaigns because, you know, going to a church, you can't be accused of campaigning. So William Ruto would attend. By the way, how many times do you think William Ruto attended church services in, uh, in Mount Kenya? At some point in this country, the people of Rift Valley were even questioning why William Ruto would go to the mountain for prayers, but not Rift Valley. So the churches provided William Ruto with that platform for early campaigns. He would go attend a church service campaign. You know, you can't ask someone why he's engaging in early campaigns while attending a church service. It also provided William Ruto with a platform for propaganda. The church is what helped Ruto, Brand Relu Diga, and Uru Kenyatta as the devil. Yesterday, I think, was it yesterday, I, I came up across a post which William Ruto had made after winning the presidency. And he invoked the name of the church. Let me just, sometimes I just like going through some of these things so that we don't miss. Let me just get that post. In that post, William Ruto actually alleged that the outcome of 2027 election reflected those who believed in God and those who never believed in God. So I wondered, 
because we had seven ballot boxes mca governors mps so anybody who won believed in god but anybody who never won belonged to the devil but in his reference he only meant the presidential so the church provided william ruto with that platform for propaganda in fact there are certain churches where the pastors would actually just preach against Raila, preach against Uhuru. The church also provided William Ruto with the opportunity for emotional appeal. You know, William Ruto would cry in churches. The wife would cry in churches. So the people who attend church services, in most cases, would always feel sorry for them. He won their hearts through that. That is what these guys think William Ruto is going to do again. Instead of bringing development, he's going to start going to the churches and start preaching all this. That's why if you read the comments, they are bitter. Number two, the mountain is also bitter with Ruto because of the unfulfilled promise. In fact, <laughs> if you go through those comments, which I want to encourage you to go through them, most people are saying that the fact that William Ruto made a promise to return to the mountain, to that church, four years ago, is it three years ago, and he has kept that promise, they are saying that that's the only promise now that William, they know William Ruto has kept. All other promises William Ruto has not kept. Why do you think the mountain believes so? The truth of the matter is that the expectation of the mountain on William Ruto's presidency was just so high. William Ruto during campaigns made the mountain believe that their problems began and ended with Uhuru and Raila. So that the moment Uhuru and Raila were removed from power, that was going to mark the end of the problems of the people of the mountain. And now Uhuru is not there, Raila is not there. But their problems have actually compounded. So they're wondering, what's wrong? Yeah. Then you are seeing this guy now coming back using church. So the expectation because of the unfulfilled promises. Number three, and these have stated severally, and I'm not going to tire anytime soon from repeating. There is growing rebellion against William Ruto and Kenya Kwanza in the mountain. That is the honest truth. The people of the mountain feel that they were cheated. They feel that they were played. They feel that they were cornered. And indeed, that rebellion has begun. That's why you saw the other day William Ruto being heckled, his team being told, no, we don't want to hear anything about Ruto. So that's the honest truth. And lastly, which is also very important, is Uhuru Kenyatta factor. You see, William Ruto managed to successfully set up Uhuru Kenyatta or the mountain against Uhuru Kenyatta. Uru Kenyatta was their son. But Uru Kenyatta told them so many things and they didn't listen. So right now, because William Ruto is unable to fulfill his promises, again, he can't accuse Uru Kenyatta of those omissions. The people are now seeing whatever Uru used to tell them. So they're now actually regretting why they never listened to Uru Muge Kenyatta. So the fact that Uhuru Kenyatta told them certain things and they're happening right in their eyes, the truth is they feel that they never listened to Uhuru Kenyatta. And because they are not comparing what Uhuru Kenyatta used to tell them and what's happening and they are regretting. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Let us wait for William Ruto to arrive in the church tomorrow so that we can see how it's going to be received. Meanwhile, Red Odinga was in Migori today. And uh, Red Odinga has claimed that William Ruto is planning to steal some land in Migori where the guys always mine gold and that is using Okot Obado. So let us wait and see how that politics is going to unfold. Raleigh Dinga has now managed to get something which is going to use against William Ruto in Migori. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.